Hi, my name is Dave Grant. I am a certified financial planner and the founder of Retirement Matters, a financial planning and investment management company in Barrington, Illinois. Now, today we're talking about pensions and specifically what happens if things go bad. What happens if the company you're working for goes bankrupt and you have a pension with them, what happens? Now, sadly, this isn't something that you can just make up. You know, this happened, you know, 2018 last year, this happened on a, a wide scale. You know, Toys R Us went bankrupt, Sears went bankrupt, David's Bridal went bankrupt. These are big companies with a lot of employees. And if you've been there a long time, chances are you've earned a pension at the company. Now the company's gone bankrupt and you're left wondering you know, what happens. Now the first question everyone pretty much asks is, well, is the money still there? Like, is it just gone because the company's gone? Yes and no. There's a slim chance 100% of it is gone, but the majority of it should be there. Now there's a reason behind that. A lot of companies who offer pensions, they pay an insurance premium to a company called the Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation. And what that company does is it insures pensions of large companies and if those companies go under, it will then step in and it will make that pension plan whole or at least in part whole so it can start to pay some benefits to the employees of the company. So I did work with a gentleman and this did happen to him. He works at a manufacturing company that was offering a pension. When he retired, that company then went bankrupt. The pension, the, the PBGC, it's an easy acronym, they came in and they then paid 60% of his pension benefit and he at least got something from it. The company was wiped out, there's nothing left, but at least he got some pension from that company and everything just doesn't disappear. So what can you do in this situation? You know, this gentleman was lucky he got 60% of his benefits paid, but what can you do to safeguard your situation? So if you're employed by a company and you think that there could be a chance in the future that the pension might not be there, you need to be doing a couple things. One, you need to be getting two statements from the company. One is gonna be a statement that's your statement. So this is a plan statement and it tells you how much benefits that you're eligible for at this point based on how much you've earned, how long you've been at the company, and your title and seniority in the company. So all of that and, and the age of your retirement. So that's gonna tell you what your benefit's going to be. You then wanna get an annual funding statement from the company, which will tell you how healthy their pension plan is. Some companies don't fund a pension plan. It's completely unfunded. Some companies do fund a pension plan. They've got a big pot of money that is there to help fund all the benefits. You wanna understand where your company lies. If it's unfunded, you've got a big worry on your hands that should things go bad for the company, it may not be there in the future. The pension, it's not gonna be good. But if it's a well-funded pension, you may have a good chance that okay, my pension benefit's gonna be there. The company is actually taking care of this, which means that it's being fiscally responsible and it may be fiscally responsible in other areas too. Even if it's not, there's gonna be benefits there that are gonna be payable with the pension. The last thing you wanna understand from your employer is, well, what are my options? Do I have to take the pension income from the company that they provide? Or could you take a lump sum benefit from that pension, move it to an IRA that you have, and then you're responsible for all of that income that it generates. And you can turn your income on and off in retirement. So if that company that you're working for is not in a great financial shape, it may be better for you to actually retire early, take that money, put it in an IRA, and go and find another job. The last thing for you to do, and this is a bigger, broader look at things, is to say, okay, so this is my pension right here. It may be there, it may not. But how do I stand on a bigger scale? You know, what am I planning for? Is my retirement going to be okay if I don't get all of my pension? You know, what if I only got half? What's my financial plan going to look like? You would want to work with a financial advisor who is going to take a look at your whole financial plan, also going to kind of focus on what does your retirement plan look like and help you understand, yes, you're going to be okay with only half of this pension, or you're not, and here's some changes we need to take a look at. So if you're not working with an advisor who can help you understand that, I'm one, you can reach out to me and we could see if we can work together. But 
I would also find one in your local area, find the one that you trust and can talk to. So until next time, until the next topic that we cover that helps you with your retirement, take care.